Hello everyone, so today's topic of our discussion is the parts of speech. So without any delay, let us begin the video. So what are the parts of speech? Words are divided into different kinds of classes known as the parts of speech according to their use that is according to the work they do in a sentence. So basically there are 8 parts of speech and they are namely noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction and interjection. So now let us get a brief description about them. First of all noun, a noun is a word used to name a person, place, animal or thing. For example, the sun shines bright. Here the sun is the name of a thing which is the noun. Okay. Now second comes the pronoun. A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. For example, Rohit is sick because he got wet in the rain. Okay. So here the word he which is in the color green is the pronoun which is used second time in the sentence instead of Rohit which is the noun. Then third comes the verb. So a verb is used to express an action or state. Okay. Let us take two examples. First of all, Amit wrote a letter and the second one is the sun is the biggest star. Here the words in green color that is wrote and is are the verbs in the sentences. The verb in the first sentence describes the action taken by the person while the verb in the second sentence defines the state of the thing. Now let us move on to the next that is the adverb. So an adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. Here also let us take two examples that is number one is this bag is quite heavy and the second one is he responded to the question very quickly. So here as you can see the words in the color green are the adverbs where in the first sentence the adverb expresses the word heavy and in the second sentence the adverb expresses the word quickly by adding some extra meaning to both the words and also the sentences. Okay? So now let us move on to the other one that is the adjective. So an adjective is a word used to describe a noun or add something to the meaning of a noun. In short, adjectives are describing words. Uh, let us take two examples that building is very old and the second one is there are 30 students in the class that means in the first sentence the word old and in the second sentence the word 30 are the adjectives where the first adjective describes the building and the second adjective describes the number of students in the class next comes the preposition so, a preposition is a word used with a noun or a pronoun to show how the person or thing denoted by the noun or pronoun stands in relation to something else. That means, a preposition is a word which describes the relation between two nouns in a sentence or the relation between a noun and a pronoun in a sentence. So here let us take the given examples that is the cat is under the chair and the boy is fond of sports. So here the words in the color green in both the sentences are the prepositions as you know and in the first sentence the cat is related to the chair in the sense that it is under the chair and in the second one the boy is related to sports that is he is fond of sports.
that means he likes sports next comes the conjunction so a conjunction is a word used for joining words or sentences for example sita and anushka are best friends and another example is she can sing well but cannot dance here we can see the words in the color green that is and and but are the conjunctions which are joining two words in the first example and two sentences in the second example lastly we get the interjection okay so an interjection is a word used to express sudden feelings okay for example hurray we have won the match and secondly alas she is dead here the words in the color green that is hurray and alas denote sudden expression of feelings which are the interjections so this was a brief discussion on the parts of speech and if you want a more detailed video on the parts of speech then do like share and comment uh, and also don't forget to click the notification bell below for future updates